It's nothing like anything I've done before. I'm in my final year studying fine art at Falmouth and obviously I'm back at home at the minute. I've not been able to use any of the studios or the workshops and I'm working out of my bedroom. But what I can do here and what I have been doing here for the last few months is music in these unusual circumstances. Why not incorporate it? We could make the most of the local music scene and like local facilities. And then if I can produce some visuals to go alongside it, that'd be incredible. So I'm gonna debut the songs which I wrote over the last lockdown tonight. I quite like the idea of alternative gallery spaces. There's a lot going on in this shop. There's so much to look at. There's so much to interact with. I like the idea that it will maybe be a little bit more interactive. The dynamic of the work will change because it's in such a dynamic space. Turns out it's a very good exhibition space. Like there's loads of little places that you can tuck work away, but like an Easter egg hunt almost. On my own during a pandemic, the easiest way of getting any kind of reference is obviously just to use yourself. Um, but for these specifically, so I've kind of been making an ongoing series of drawings using some of the lyrics and the songs and sort of elaborating on the meaning behind them. So obviously self-portrait makes sense really when you're talking about being fed up of only being around yourself all of the time. Some of the bodies in this tapestry are bodies of witches from famous paintings. Some of the other bodies are goddess images, but they're all integrated together so you can't tell which is which, mm. um, alongside some of the bodies of like real contemporary women as well. And basically the idea behind it was to sort of illustrate how like, the role of the female body in visual art has kind of changed and how it's ever changing and sort of attitudes towards female sexuality from it being celebrated as a goddess or persecuted as a witch. I like working quite small, something that I can hold afterwards. Yeah, yeah. It feels more intimate, I guess. It does, yeah, I do. I have noticed I seem to just work smaller and smaller yeah. as, as time goes on. <laughs> These collage pieces kind of splice together depictions of goddesses from art history with the bodies of real women, like my peers basically. A lot of the work I've been doing obviously had some nudity in it and there's some kind of strange thing with like Instagram specifically, like censorship, mm. where the only form of female like nipple that you're allowed to show is on art paintings and sculptures. So these collages have real nude women, but you any explicit areas are taken from the statues and the paintings um, so that technically it's fine but it's, I thought it was quite interesting that that's how you can make it fine they're kind of carefully censored in a way that's making a point <laughs> 